Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of x if we have x is equal to 27 divided by square root of x and we solve this problem for all the values of x. So here the very first thing we are going to do is here first we move this square root of x into the left hand side or in other words we will multiplying both of the sides by square root of x so when we multiplying this equation by square root of x it will be written as square root of x multiplied by x is equals to square root of x multiplied by 27 divided by square root of x so now you see here these two terms written as x times of square root of x is equals to this square root of x is cancelled out by this square root of x and we will get here 27 only so further in the next step for uh, in order to find the values of x we need to uh, remove this square root sign so uh, for this uh, we need to take the squaring on both of the sides so when we will take squaring it will be written as uh, here we apply this square separately on both of these values and it will be written as x square multiplied by square root of x and its whole square is equals to here first we write the prime factors of 27 and we know that the prime factors of 27 are 3 cubed and its whole square and in the next step we need to use here the nice uh, exponential law into the right hand side uh, so you know about that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n so if we need to interchange these two exponents and it will be written as a to the power of n to the power of m so when we interchange these two exponents it will becomes uh, here uh, the same answer okay it cannot be factored our final answer so uh, here in the left hand side you see here this two and this square root are gone and we will get here x square multiplied by x is equals to in the right hand side we use this exponent law and here we need to interchange these two exponents so that when we interchange these these two exponents here it will be written as 3 square and its whole cubed and now uh, further in the next step we multiply these two terms and it will become cubic equation so x square times x becomes x cubed and here we know that 3 square becomes 9 and it will becomes a 9 cubed and now here further in the next step we move this 9 cubed into the left hand side and it will becomes x cubed minus 9 cubed is equal to 0 so further in the next step uh, we need to use here the nice uh, cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so uh, according to this cubic formula we write our above equation as in this form first we have a minus b here our a is x minus b is 9 into again we have a square so a is x square plus a b a is x and b is 9 plus b square so b is 9 square and this is equals to 0 and now here in the next step first we need little bit simplifications here and it will be written as x minus 9 times of x square plus this is 9x plus this is 9 square becomes 81 and this whole equation is equals to 0. So in the next step we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write x minus 9 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write x square plus 9x plus 81 is equal to 0. And now from first case we easily get the value of x is equal to 9. This is the our first root of the given equation. And now for uh, in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation. 
So, in order to solving the quadratic equation, uh, there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first one is by applying the quadratic formula. The second method is uh, completing square and the third one is factorization method. So, here we use the quadratic formula to solve this equation. For this, we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to 9 and c is equals to 81. And we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the our quadratic formula and now we need to substitute the values of a, b and c here. After substituting the values it will be written as x is equals to this is minus b. The value of b is minus 9 plus minus square root of b square. b is 9 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 81 and it is divided by 2 times of a. So here our a is equals to 1. And, and now further in the next step we need more simplifications. And here we have x is equals to this is minus 9 plus minus square root of this is my uh, 9 square becomes 81 minus 4 times of this is 81 and divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2. So here we need more simplifications uh, so that uh, for this you see here we have x is equals to minus 9 plus minus here we need to take common 81 from here. So, when we take common 81, we get the remaining values are 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2. And further in the next step, we have this is minus 9 plus minus square root. Uh, here you see that we apply the square root sign on separately on both of these values and it will become square root of 81. And here we get 1 minus 4 becomes square root of minus 3 and it is divided by 2. And here we get x is equals to minus 9 plus minus we know that square root of 81 becomes 9 and this is square root of 3 and we know that when negative sign appears inside the square root sign so it will becomes here iota so this will becomes iota and it is divided by 2. So uh, these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And finally we have there are three roots of the given equation and the third root is x is equals to 9. So this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.